Good morning, YouTubers. T-Square with T-Square Talk. It is Thursday morning, and what is going on? Uh, for me, it's actually Thursday morning at about 1.30 a.m. in the morning, and I had my video all planned out. I had a great video because I was super excited about what I had picked up today. I picked up a uh, entire bag full of silver at spot price, and I was super excited to show it to you guys. And I picked up a few uh, graded coins. They're actually PCGS coins. If I can get it open. But I don't know what this box. The box is a different company. It's actually Professional Coin um, Capsules, I guess. I don't know. Another company. Oh, and I picked up four dimes for free. So it's kind of cool. Um, but these right here, these were just... Um, some Mexican, old Mexican silver coins that were certified and graded. I got a great deal on them, so I was happy about that. And I was excited to do today's video, and then the silver market started going hectic. What's happening right now? I said in yesterday's video that something weird was going on, and I was kind of thinking something big was about ready to happen. Uh, I didn't necessarily think it was going to happen the next day. Um... It's kind of crazy what's going on. We got silver dropping like a rock, literally. Uh, we're down in the $27 range. It's happening super fast. Uh, for me, I have a theory on what's going on. But, uh, you know, I mean, that's just my opinion. I can't prove any of that yet. Part of me wonders if there's not... I, I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, essentially, what's happening, it feels like is what happened during the beginning of cough cough we've seen the price of precious metals just plunge all the way down to eleven dollars uh in the paper market nobody was selling nothing seemed like it was acting right and it didn't take more than a week week and a half before it spiked all the way back up to a lot higher than what it should have been are people giving up on essentially the manipulation and they're going to manipulate it one last time they're going to beat it down and that's what they're doing right now um, and then all of a sudden it's just going to just skyrocket and when i say skyrocket i mean not just 35 dollars. i mean jump all the way up to maybe 40 45 who knows uh, something big is happening uh, a lot of more people are talking about silver and, uh, you know, some people that have been stacking for a long time, right, we're getting discouraged. I ain't going to lie. Uh, even I get discouraged sometimes. When I was looking at that spot deal today, I was standing there. I told the guy, I said, you know, he goes, you're going to get it all? I said, you know, I'm, I'm on the fence. I don't know. It feels funny what's happening right now. And it doesn't add up. And when something doesn't add up, I, I have to wonder how much of it is a lie. And, you know, even at spot price, I question, do I really want to get all that with what's going on? I mean, I bought that stuff. I know something's weird. Something's about ready to happen. And that was this morning. And then all of a sudden, the next day, which is now, and you guys, tonight, last, I, I it's kind of complicated because I'm, I'm doing this video in the middle of the night. So I sometimes get my timeline a little mixed up. Um, but for you guys watching it, I did this yesterday and, and I couldn't turn it down. I, I ended up taking it all and I questioned because here's the thing, it's constitutional. I don't even really, I've gotten to the point where I don't even like constitutional. Unless it's, uh, you know, something really cool, like the Mercury Dimes, I mean, beautiful, I'll say beautiful uncirculated silver quarters is what it was, but they were all like pretty much kind of circulated. They were just in really good shape and I couldn't turn it down. And so I ended up picking it up, but how do I question spot price? How do you, it, it really posed the, a huge dilemma for me because something weird is going on. I mean, it doesn't add up how the price is falling like it is. And I know there's going to be naysayers out there that are going to jump on this video quick and they're going to be putting comments in. I told you, I told you it was going to go down to $20 eventually. Nobody's selling. I just looked at like three different big companies in the middle of the night. I said, you know what? I'm already on ramen noodles now. Ramen noodle budget. That's what I'm going to be eating for the next 60 days, pretty much. Ramen noodle, peanut butter and jelly. 
I, I saw someone's comment earlier. It said, hey, peanut butter and jelly is pretty good. And you're right. I love peanut butter and jelly. I'm actually fixing to try to make crustables. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Uh, only because I really like them. I had them at someone's house and then they were just great. It's basically just peanut butter, jelly, and the bread. But they cut off the crust. And then it's like not frozen, but it's cold. It's served cold. Whereas usually peanut butter and jelly sandwiches always seem warm whenever I make them. You know, because you keep the peanut butter out. Jelly's in the fridge. The bread's on the counter. It's all warm. So needless to say, I know we're way off topic. It's the middle of the night for me. And nothing is adding up. The price is just plunging on silver. And because of that, there's a lot of, I don't know, emotions running wild right now. And I can't even imagine what it's going to be like in the morning. Well, when I post this video, this video is going to get posted on Thursday morning at roughly 8 a.m. And I usually post it, get up, start getting dressed, get my day going, and then I will check precious metals. But I may check precious metals right off because, you know, we've been talking about precious metals for a while. And precious metals is a great investment. I mean, I'm up drastically on my precious metals right now. And you guys, most of y'all are too despite what anybody might say about it being a bad investment or whatever the case may be, we're all up a lot of, a good amount of money on precious metals, depending on how in you are. It's discouraging only because I can't find anybody selling anything right now. On the online websites, when I looked a few minutes ago, the premiums have almost like started creeping up basically. And it's the middle of the night, so that shouldn't be happening. Even online bullion dealers. When I looked, um, like online as in like eBay auctions, from big trusted distributors, you know, your big companies, you know, AppMax, that type of stuff, all their premiums are like climbing. It's almost like silver's not even going down. And we've seen this happen in 2008, but... Because it's happening so fast, it's a little strange what's going on because there is nobody working there. I know someone told me in the comments, we were having a, a questions and talking about it on Discord, and someone had left me a comment saying maybe there's some kind of a safe button in place that if the price starts falling too fast, I mean, it's down 4% in just one night. Uh, that's that's a big number to drop 4% in one night. Um and it's falling fast. It kind of threw my whole video off on what I'm even going to talk about. Because um, I can't not address this. I'm not discouraged, don't get me wrong, by any means. I'm upset that I can't buy more right now uh, at lower prices. The spot price is lower than you should be able to buy the physical lower. But we've known for a long time that just because the spot price goes down doesn't mean people will be selling. I'll be honest. You know, I've got friends that I see on like a daily basis and usually they'll be like, hey, can I get an ounce of silver off you? What kind of deal will you give me? And I'll be like, you know, I just got these in. Uh, I got them for, I don't know, 33 bucks. If you want one for 33, you can have it, you know. And if you want, treat me to lunch while we're, you know, even if it's something small, tacos, hot dogs, whatever. Um... Tomorrow, I don't think I'm going to sell anything. I don't think I'm going to let nothing go. Uh, if anybody asks me, like, ah, I can't do anything right now. It's just kind of the markets are crazy. And they are. And it, this could be coming down. And maybe it is just coming down. And it's going to stay down for a little while. But here's, here's what I'm worried about. Overseas, China markets are open right now. They see what's going on. They're watching gold and silver like a hawk. And I would not be surprised to see them place huge COMEX orders that will have to be delivered. And they're going to want physical. But what's really throwing me too is Bitcoin's going down too. The stock market tanked, what, four days in a row, five days in a row? It's not looking good. Things are starting to heat up. Um, I'm wondering what's going to happen. I really do worry a little bit. And I know this video for some of you guys, most of you guys may not even be watching it at this point because I'm kind of rambling a little bit because the numbers don't add up. And they didn't add up last night, but I didn't know what was going wrong. Why why things weren't? Is it just was it just me? I didn't see anything too out of the ordinary, but stuff just didn't feel right. 
and it doesn't feel right now. But now we got silver plummeting, and that just adds to my, this is what's going on. Something big is happening behind the scenes. You know, we had that huge outage the other day. I actually went to the bank today, and this was crazy. Uh, so whenever I go to the bank, I, if you're still on, comment pennies or nickels. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this. I went to the bank, and I asked them, hey, can I buy a box of pennies and a box of nickels? The first bank I went to, they told me no. I said, what? Why not? We don't have any. I said, what do you mean you don't have any? They said, for some reason, our coin sh shipments aren't coming in from the Fed correctly. They're like cutting all of our orders in half or a quarter of what they are trying to order. Well, what does that tell you right there? That tells you that they're taking in change, but they're not sending it out. Well, there's no huge cough cough going on right now. What's their excuse now for why they can't dole out pennies and nickels? And she told me, well, it's not just pennies and nickels. Dimes we're having trouble with. Quarters, we can give you quarters if you'd like. I don't want quarters. I said, pennies and nickels, that's what I want. And and that's what we need. I said, that's what we need at the restaurant. <laughs> Even though it ain't for a restaurant, it's for me. What's going on, though? You know, do they know something we don't know? You know, nickel is, is in interesting metal right now. The price on nickel should be through the roof, and that too is not really going up. I priced up pennies today, copper pennies, 2.7 cents. Somebody asked me, that seems relatively cheap. I said, well, copper's down right now. And nickel, a dollar in nickels, only a dollar seven. We're talking next to nothing. 1.07 for a dollar in nickels. You're talking 7% higher. That's not a lot though um, for 20 nickels. Now pennies sitting at 2.7, I mean that's a big gain. When you're talking every dollar in copper pennies being worth 2.7 dollars, 270, that makes a difference. That's on track to be the next silver essentially. I mean it's a long way from silver but you think about, we've done videos, we've talked about when these first started going extinct when people started coughing up all of the silver, all, you know, just buying it all up. And that's kind of how this this collection, which I wasn't really going to show, but then I was like, you know what? At this point, I'll still do a video over it tomorrow because I don't think many people are on this, this now because I'm just rambling. But look at all these. All these bags of quarters. Tons of them. And I'll show you guys tomorrow. Look at that. Tons and tons. Old man passed away, daughter inherited it. She said she didn't know what was going on. She said under the bed, it just had boxes and boxes and boxes of coins. Jars and jars of coins. All looking funny is how you know it got described. Well, yeah, if you don't know what silver looks like, these dimes look funny. And, and it's because they're silver. And at first, she was, like, going to sell it all. And then she said, you know what? I'm just going to sell it a little bit each week. I mean, that, that decision, honestly, could have just saved her a ton. Could have also costed her because when she goes back to sell more, if the price is still down, she might be like, what, what happened? And he'll have to give her a lesson on silver. And then who knows if she'll want to sell it. Because the truth of the matter is, I wouldn't part with my silver right now with what's going on. This is not adding up. I talked to multiple subscribers tonight uh, before this video when this first started. And, and a lot of people are saying, you know, they don't know what's going on. This doesn't make sense. So a whole lot of stuff not making sense is about what the video is going to be titled. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up. Uh, probably just all I can do is just go to bed, get some rest, see what happens in the morning, watch the numbers, overseas markets. Uh, they're probably having a field day right now buying up silver at off the Comex because they have that ability to. But the peasants like us aren't going to be able to buy the dip necessarily if it doesn't stay down for too long. We'll see what happens. Uh, keep your eyes open tomorrow. Maybe we'll get lucky, be able to pick up some good deals. Uh, I'm hoping it stays down. I don't care. I know some people are like, dude, we're trying to make money. We're trying to let it go up. I ain't. I'm trying to acquire more if I can. 
Um, because I know once the door closes, there's no going back. Once you miss the opportunity, it's gone. And we could see it jump. And once it jumps to a bigger, higher level, that's it. So with that being said, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys again on T-Square. Leave me a comment if you made it all the way to the end. Uh, I almost am debating not even posting this video because I just kind of rambled on about what doesn't make sense tonight. But, I mean, let's be honest. We've known Silver has been manipulated for a while. And they can play this game as long as they can. But a day will come where they will not be able to control what's happening. And I think that day is fast approaching. And we'll see what happens. Thank you all for watching. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Take care, everybody. Have a great night. Bye-bye.